In the hours after the shooting of Congressman Steve Scalise, investigators quickly discovered that the suspect was a volunteer for the Bernie Sanders campaign. As you saw earlier in the show, the senator was quick to condemn the violence, and it would be wrong to hold Bernie responsible for any of this. But at the same time, if he plans to make a run for the White House in 2020, I don't see how this can help him. So is it fair to ask whether this is the end for Bernie's quest? For 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, joining me now, it's the co-host of the 5, 9 p.m. Eastern on the Fox News Channel, Juan Williams is Hello. back. How Good you doing? Good to be with you. Uh, crazy times here. I mean, no you know, we, we've had a lot of conversations tonight about calls for unity and, and rhetoric in Washington. And I don't hold Bernie Sanders accountable, just like I, I wouldn't hold the president accountable if it were someone from the other side of the aisle who would pull the trigger. My question is, does this in any way tarnish Bernie Sanders' movement? Yeah, sure. I don't think there's any question that it leads to questions. Even if you were to take a hard-nosed political angle and say it's his critics who have leapt at this, but of course he op the door is open to the critics. Maybe not something that Sanders himself did, but certainly someone who's associated with his campaign, someone whose website and the like clearly took to Sanders and saw Sanders as the leader in terms of angry statements about President Trump, statements that you know said Trump was the worst president ever, yeah. all that kind Call of thing. Call them names. So I think the word of the day, Kennedy, introspection inside the Sanders camp. They are quick to point out that Trump and Trump supporters have been associated with violence. Remember the guy that went to the pizza parlor in D.C. with the gun and all that? But the idea was that they were different. Well, wait a second. What's the difference now if the rhetoric is so strong that you get a Sanders supporter acting in this vicious, horrific way? Yeah, no, I actually uh, agree with me, Nomiki, uh, who says that at some point, someone like this is going to tip and they're going to use any excuse they have to go over the edge and, and feel justified about it. And I think, you know, the political rhetoric and this horrible sociopathic violent act, I think we have to separate them. Correct. And I think, it's, I think it's okay to look at ourselves for a second and say, you know, what is it we're saying? What is this reaction? Because all of politics is a reaction. Right. You, know, you can say that Donald Trump and even Bernie Sanders were a reaction to President Obama. What is it about this reaction that goes too far? Does it change or curtail some of the discussions you have on and off air about politics? Well, what is done today in terms of the discussions that with people in Washington is muted it. Uh, you get the sense, and I heard someone say this, and then I read it, so I don't know if they were repeating it, but they said they feel like they're at a tipping point in terms of the sharp political polarization and that they don't want to engage it at the moment. Yeah. And the way this conversation started on my end was talking about whether or not there would be anger, especially over gun control and the guns. Typically, the divide after this kind of incident where you see the right say, oh, uh, this is not about gun control. The, the individual has to be held responsible. In this case, the left saying, we need more gun control. But now, people saying, you know, I don't want it. Yeah. Uh, and this was a Republican. But the final point to make on this is that once you get beyond the moment, mm -hmm. once we get to next week, once we get into back to arguments about affordable care, yeah. uh, once we get back to arguments about tax reform, about the budget, do we see that this has consequence? At the moment, it sure feels that way. Well, we'll see in some right. of these town halls, particularly where yes. Republicans in Congress are, are having heated conversations. Will that cool the temperature in those rooms a little bit? It remains to be seen. Juan Williams, thank you so much. Thank you, Kennedy. Always good to talk to you.